This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction Descriptive statistics refers to information that has been analyzed in order to reveal the basic features of data collected or used in a study. They provide researchers with summaries and other critical information regarding study samples and measures. The two main types include measures of central tendency and the measure of spread. A common occurrence when using descriptive data is the emergence of certain patterns that make it easy for researchers to understand and make sense of data. The statistical data can either be used for further research studies or as an independent entity that can be used to make conclusions. Certain research situations involve use of only descriptive statistics because of large sample sizes and complexity of data. A study that involves the computation of mean, median, and mode would require descriptive statistics. For instance, they would be sued in a study that aims to find the media score in a class of 100 students with different test results. On the other hand, surveys, case studies, and naturalistic observations can only be successfully conducted using descriptive statistics. An example of research that involved descriptive statistics only is a research study conducted by Andrieva, Michaud, and Soas to investigate obesity and health in Europeans aged 50 years and older. The study aimed to study the prevalence of obesity and related health complications among Europeans aged 50 years and above. The study involved collection of data from participants without altering any environmental factor. It was published in the Journal of Public Health in 2007. Why use descriptive correlational design? Descriptive correlational design is used in research studies that aim to provide static pictures of situations as well as establish the relationship between different variables. In correlational research, two variables such as the height and weight of individuals are studied to establish their relationship. One of the research topics that can be studied using a descriptive correctional design is the height and weight of college students between the ages of 18 and 25. This study can be tied to their nutrition or frequency of taking meals in a day. The design is appropriate for the aforementioned topic because in conducting the study, the researcher will be required to collect data based on the behavior or attitudes of the participants. For instance, the number of times the participants eat a certain meal or take a certain beverage. On the other hand, the researcher will be required to establish the relationship between the frequency of taking certain meals or beverages and gains in weight. The researcher could also establish the relationship between the weight and height of the participants. The study design would also enable the researcher to determine changes in the participants' behaviors or attitudes over time in order to determine how these changes affect the outcomes or possible trends that could emerge in the future. Do SAT scores determine the GPA achieved by college students? This research question has both predictor and criterion variable. In this research question, SAT scores represent the predictor variable and college GPA represents the criterion variable. College GPA is the criterion variable because it is the component being predicted using students' SAT scores. On the other hand, SAT scores are the predictor variable because they determine the GPA attained in college. The research question seeks to determine whether students' SAT scores predict the GPA scores they attain in college. Conclusion This research paper focused on descriptive correlation design definition and goals. This quantitative research method aims to describe two or more variables and their relationships. Descriptive correlation design can provide a picture of the current state of affairs. For instance, in psychology, it can be a picture of a given group of individuals, their thoughts, behaviors, or feelings. If you want to find more works like this essay on descriptive correlational design in research, head over to ivypanda.com. It has a collection of samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects.